News 10 ABC Storm Tracker Weather Alerts. Well, I've got an update on that tornado warning that did get issued near Glens Falls. It has been dropped. It is still a severe thunderstorm, though, that uh, shaded in orange, indicating, yeah, a severe thunderstorm, still producing damaging wind gusts, but thankfully the tornado warning has been canceled. Still a dangerous storm. Uh, we were seeing rotation indicated on the radar, and that's what prompted the tornado warning. Uh, but again, you can't ever tell just from rotation if it's actually creating a funnel cloud getting all the way down to the ground. It is still a dangerous storm, though, so you still want to be very, very careful. And there's also a flash flood warning that remains in effect for the Glens Falls area. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit and show you that storm system from a little bit of a dif uh, distance. And uh, yes, over there near Little Falls in Utica, of course, they have flood warnings and flash flood warnings they're still uh, recovering from. And that is still a major concern, not only for the Glens Falls area, but also for uh, Rutland and central Vermont. That heavy rain that's hammering Glens Falls, also a lot of frequent lightning, that's all going to be headed off to the north and east into Rutland County. And again, while tornadoes get a lot of attention, and for good reason, flash floods actually kill more people on average. So uh, still a very dangerous situation out there, but I did want to bring the good news to you as soon as possible. The tornado warning has been dropped. Uh, we're still not in the clear. Of course, we still have a chance for those strong storms, and they are going to still be approaching the capital region uh, in the next little while. We're still, in fact, indicating there is a little bit of rotation in that storm, but again, uh, we have not confirmed a tornado, and the tornado warning has been canceled. So there is some good news, but of course, if you're in the path of this storm, you still need to take it very seriously. It's tracking north and east very quickly. Uh, let me show you some of the cities uh, that are expected to be impacted by this storm in the next little while. Uh, we've got oh, Fort Anne getting hit pretty hard, Adamsville, and it's headed towards Granville, tracking again to the north and east. Here's a look at the cone I put up. Yeah, Granville probably around 543. Then uh, Truthville, Raceville, and uh, towards Pulteney uh, a little bit later in the 5 o'clock hour, closer to the uh, 6 o'clock hour. Of course, we will continue to track this storm very carefully over the next uh, few minutes, and uh, we'll cut in as needed. We'll have the full 6 o'clock news coming up for you in about half an hour, so be sure to tune in then. And again, if you're in the path of this storm or any of the strong storms out there, uh, do please take them seriously and be careful. Thank you. This has been a News 10 ABC Storm Tracker weather alert.